right, let's roll right into our post race for tonight's fourth annual Five Hour Energy 400 benefiting Special Operations Warrior Foundation NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race here at Kansas Speedway. First NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race under the lights here at Kansas. And our third place finisher is Casey Kane. He drove the number five Farmers Insurance Bank Million Teachers Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. Also joining him up at the front right now is our race runner-up, our Coors Light pole sitter. That was Kevin Harvick. <clears throat> he drove the number four Jimmy John's Chevrolet for Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, let's hear first from Casey. Casey, third place finish. You ran up front uh, most of the evening, had led some laps. Just talk about the race, uh, how you thought the race went for you, and how things unfolded there towards the uh, latter stages. Yeah, it went, it went really, really good for us. We had a, you know, fast farmers insurance Chevy throughout the race. Uh, worked our way up. Some of the pit strategy and things just sequence more than anything. Um, you know, we got to the front at time. You know, there for a little bit, led some laps. Felt really good at that point in time, and then we got a, um, a little tighter later, and, and didn't free up or tighten up enough there at the end when we put four tires back on. We just tried to run rights for for too long, but. Uh, it was still a really solid run. Nice to run up front and you know and be able to race hard the the whole night. So it was uh, it was good for us. And Kevin, uh, certainly um, uh, this was one that uh, you led a lot of laps uh, and 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 certainly had a very fast race car. Just talk about how things unfolded for the four car and uh, your uh, your outlook on how things uh, went from uh, from your vantage point. Well, it, um, the car was, was really fast. We just had to overcome a lot tonight, um, you know, getting caught uh, on pit road both times under, under green flag pit stops. And then there at the end, I didn't, um, we ran out of gas coming to, coming to pit road there. And I was looking at the fuel pressure gauge instead of, the, instead of the tack and lost a bunch of time down pit road, down pit road and off of pit road. And wound up getting stuck behind the 24. And, car was was really tight and then I found a groove that that worked for me uh, way up the racetrack and and um, I caught him and and then I slipped and lost everything I'd gained and then gained it all back and just uh, just ran out of laps at the end we'll take a few questions for Casey or Kevin if you have one raise your hand back in the back and then we'll go to Mike Massaro we'll start with David and then go to Mike David Carvello, NASCAR.com. For both you guys, so much of this race seemed to be dictated by pit sequence. Uh, did you know going in, okay, it's going to be tough to pass, so this is going to be half, how we're going to have to work our way through, or did, did it kind of un just unfold that way? Yeah, I mean, I felt like it was going to be tough to pass at times tonight. You know, if you were, um, it was tough to pass a fast car, but if you, you know, if your car was perfect, you could, you could kind of pass, you know, if it, Later on in a run, or, or right there at the start of a run, so it was, it was tough. And then you just, I mean, you have to pit at certain times. And you don't know when someone's going to spin. So that was more than anything. It was just, you know, people spinning that I think got the sequence off that I saw, that I remember. Um, so you don't know when that's going to happen, and it happened a couple times tonight. I think after the, you know, the last race we saw here it was exactly, probably, uh, probably not to the extent that everybody expected, but I think that everybody. Kind of knew it was going to be going to be hard to pass. We'll go to Mike Massaro and then to Randy. Questions for Kevin. Um, as, as you probably noticed, uh, Danica had one of her best, if not her best, career finish tonight. Um, a lot has been made of a conversation you and her had this week. C can you shed any light on, on that that conversation and, and what you might have told her and, and, and how you might have helped her this week? I mean, we talk a lot, and I think for um, you know for her, it's just the the confidence and knowing exactly what the car is going to do. And um, you know, obviously, she's she's run well all weekend, qualified well, uh, raced well all night, and and it's just a, there's a lot of hurdles to overcome. You know, for her to 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 make up that experience, um, I feel like we can we can help her speed that process up by just um, you know telling her some of the things that, that she should expect and do and. As, as she uh, went through the weekend, she kept her track position on the restarts. That's probably the, the biggest thing. But um, I guess the, the one thing I did tell her was just quit thinking about it and smash the gas. Uh, just, you know, sometimes you, your car's never going to be perfect, and you just have to take what it'll give you. And 
expect that every time you pit, it's going to be better. And if it's not, you adjust and move on. Go to Randy, and then we'll go up here to the front row. Yeah, Randy Kovitz, Kansas City Star, for each of you. Where were you when the lights went out, and just what kind of effect did that have on, on, on the race or the driving? I think I was on the front stretch or something because it was the next, the lights were good, and the next time we came through, it was dark on the back. And, um, and once it went green from that point, I didn't even remember it. They were off the rest of the, you know, the, rest of the time. It's way darker back there, but you can still see just fine, and I, you just kind of forget about it. I think we've probably both raced at a lot darker <laughs> racetracks, but um, I, I don't know where I was. No, if it was dangerous, they wouldn't have let us go. Go up here to the front row, and we'll go back to the back. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Sean Roney for Dos Mundos newspaper for each of you. With with the, the, the weather delay, was there much concern at all that you'd be able to get this in tonight? Were you worried about having to come back here and run tomorrow? I don't, even, I don't even know if there needed to be a weather delay. I mean, once we left pit road, it was raining as hard as it had rained the entire time. And then we went right to green pretty quick. So I think we probably could have started right on time, maybe had a caution for five laps, but I don't think it would have been much more than that. Yeah, you know, it's just you can't control that kind of stuff. So you just sit in your car and sweat and wait for them to tell you to go. Well, in the back, go ahead, David. Kevin, uh, is it as simple as if you don't run out of gas, you win the race? Um, I, I, I can't say that. I mean, even though it was out of gas with these EFI units, it still runs, and I should have been paying attention to um, my pit road speed lights and, and should have got off of pit road better. Um, you know, I think, I think to win the race, I just needed to execute on pit road better the last time down. And then how do you come out of this knowing you had a car that was dominant in spots, but then like everybody else, you got back in traffic and other things happened. So how do you, how do you feel about this night overall? I, I think we had a good night. I mean, you can't, can't win them all. Um, I mean, just, you know, for, for me, we, you know, I made a mistake at the end and, and uh, felt like that's probably what, what cost us the, the chance to stay in front of the 24. But 24 was, was good all night. And, um, you know, 48 was, was good when he was out front. And we got in the back of the pack and couldn't go anywhere. So. It, it came down to, to track position, and, and those guys executed a little bit better than I did. Any other questions? What mistake did you make? What's that? What mistake did you make? When we ran out of gas coming to pit road, I was looking at the fuel pressure gauge instead of the tack, so I wound up just going too slow. All right, we got a question up in the press box. Go ahead. Lee Spencer Motorsport.com for Casey. It's been a, a rough start to the season for you guys, and of course, um, I, I don't know if you know, but there's been a lot of talk on talk radio. You're going to have to speak up, or we're going to have to get that mic turned up, because uh, we can't hardly hear you. Could you pre repeat that question, please? Sorry, can you hear me now? It's really loud better. in here. Speak up. Go ahead. Um, just wanted to ask Casey whether or not uh, what this run meant to the team since they got off to such a slow start this season. Yeah, well, our, our biggest deal was we've just been slow this season. Um, really haven't been inconsistent or anything like that. We've just been slow each week. So, I, you know, we, we tested here. We had that Goodyear tire test, and I felt like from that point on, we've actually had really fast cars. Uh, Richmond, we were good. We had uh, some things go on late in the race uh, on pit road that we ended up 14th, but we had a top six or seven car, I felt like, that entire race. Uh, ran well at Talladega and then came here and... Uh, ran up front. We were good in practice. So, you know, I, I think the Goodyear test here, for whatever reason, we were able to try some things and just look at stuff a little differently than what we had been. And it helped the five team, you know, my guys, uh, myself and Kenny and Chris, our, our communication together. It's, it's helped us a lot since then. So, you know, I feel like that's been the key. And ever since we tested here, we've ran much better and been a lot more competitive. Thanks. Kevin, question goes to you. Uh, you mentioned running out of gas there at the end of the race uh, in the pits. Was that the moment when it was over? Did you still have a chance to catch the 24 thereafter, or did you realize when you came out of there it was done? That was my mistake, coming down pit road too slow. So, right. you know, I had to, I'd caught the 24 and then made another mistake, um, you know, getting up out of the groove and lost everything that I gained. So just I made too many mistakes at the end to, to get by. Did you think you had a chance in the last lap to get him? Um, it wasn't out of the question because right. I knew that when we got to traffic that his car was, was not very good. So, um, 
I just needed to time it right, and I just had too much ground to make up at that time. Thanks. Any other questions upstairs? We're good. Casey, Kevin, uh, thank you for coming in, and thank you for putting on a good show this weekend.